what's up everyone and might as well talk about one movie the walk the 2015 movie that obviously came out last year in october um it came out obviously the same week and i know i anticipated it for my top movies of 2015 and you're probably asking why the hell am i reviewing a movie of 2015 and 2016 very rarely i do this and obviously i didn't get around to seeing this in theaters because it obviously came out the same week as the Martian movie which I anticipated as well but I went to see that one instead so I didn't get a chance to see this one I knew it was going to be good and obviously I rented it on Blu-ray or DVD whatever you know because it's obviously out on Blu-ray and DVD and a lot of people said it was really good to see an IMAX 3D which they probably are right which I didn't get a chance to and you're probably wondering why the hell am I reading it once again it's obviously about the original Trade Center, mostly, and, well, actually, it's about the, the, I forget what his name was, who tightrope, the French acrobat who tightropes over the original Trade Center back in the 70s, when it was just about finished its construction. Um, but, you know, you know, obviously, some people may find it a little offensive because it has the original Trade Center. I, for one, was, you know, it's a tragic thing what happened to it, and I was, and here's the reason I'm reviewing this, is because... I love these buildings more than anything. It was devastating to see what happened to those buildings, you know, 14 years ago, or 15, I should say, whatever, you know, way you count it, back in 2001. And I've been on these buildings twice, to be exact, the first time. Um, I think this is from the second time. Yep, there I am on the top and on the 107th floor, rooftop once again. Yeah, I know, this was a long time ago, obviously. This was, I think, back in the late 90s. I was really little and much chubbier, obviously, than I was today. So, in other words, I love these buildings to death. So, it was very sad, like, I, once again, to see them go down like that. So, let's get to the movie. And, matter of fact, before I get to the movie, there's the original, yep, Copper Towers that I got the first time I went on the original buildings. Still a great thing that New York City has. I mean, the new building looks nice, but it will never top these two buildings. I always say two buildings are better than one. Not to really say anything humorous about it. It was a terrible thing. But the movie, on the other hand, is, well, the backstory about the acrobat played by who you probably remember as he played the cop in the last Batman movie. Uh, I forget what his name Joseph um, Gordon, whatever the hell his name was. And I think he does a really good job, and it's pretty obvious he's obviously not French, but he took... Great lessons, I would assume, from that actual tight roper. Um, like I said, I forgot what his name is. And he did a great job with the French accent. First thing you may notice is, when you watch it, you notice that he's obviously narrating the movie, the whole backstory behind it. Which, okay, narrating or telling the backstory, you know, the person himself. Sometimes I'm not too crazy about it. You know, I feel like the movie should speak for itself. Like, it seems a little bit lazy with narration. But uh, it didn't really bother me thoroughly. And he's obviously on top of the Statue of Liberty's um, torch, which most people can consider impossible. I don't think you can access it. I don't think it's closed off the public. Um, and I didn't think the CGI shots really were, considering these buildings aren't up anymore. But I think it did a great job, like, recreating the whole thing. Obviously, okay, excuse the spoilers. You're going to have to really... You probably don't want to watch the rest of this video if you don't want to be spoiled. Otherwise, yeah, it does start out with this whole backstory, you know, when he's in France and, you know, he's in the dentist's office after chewing, um, you know, on a hard candy when he's doing his stunts and his whole backstory with meeting, you know, his girlfriend and everything and when he gets the idea about the Trade Center, you know, tight roping and then he um, gets into the whole thing and he gets the skill and so it does start out a little bit slow. And, but I think it's told and narrated very well of how he does it. And the French accent, like I said before, it's really pulled off well. I didn't think he would be able to, considering he's not really... I don't think he's French. I mean, he talks in perfect English in most of his films. And he even explains, like, he has to learn English because he's coming to America. And then it's it's done so well, like, when he comes to America, and it's, that's where it gets really good. So, like I said, slow start, but then it gets really good. And all these shots and everything... I feel like I should have watched it in 3D. I mean, with all these things, like, when the, the pins that he's juggling, and and then, like, the rope comes down and everything. And so I did see the trailers in IMAX 3D. I forget what it was. I think it was... I forget which film it was, you know, 
beforehand because it kept showing like the first trailer when I saw the the last Hobbit movie just showed like him going up top of the Trade Center. So it's like, oh, like your worst case of vertigo. So that's probably anybody who saw this in IMAX 3D probably got. Because he goes up there the first time trying to plan the whole thing. You know, he's like, you know, standing on top of there, like carelessly just walks in. And then it's like, you know, then it's all about setting up during the nighttime. And um, so, and then he finally does it. So, yeah. Obviously, it doesn't actually happen, the tightroping thing, which he obviously trespasses illegally, if you don't know the backstory behind this guy, how he does it. And he walks, you know, a couple of times back and forth, and he just, like, kneels down, and, you know, and then the cops finally get him, and he, you know, because he obviously didn't get permission to do this. So you're probably like, wait, he did it the last 20 minutes of the movie out two hours? How is that really worth it? Trust me, it's worth it, people. All the setting up, I didn't think at first it was really going to be worth spending about like an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minutes of setting this whole thing up and all the backstory behind it. But trust me, it is. I mean, the way he gets through security, like how they, him and a bunch of other guys pose as maintenance men just to get this whole thing set up, it's really well done. I mean, he just narrates it really good, and it really just kept me off the edge of my seat and how it's high up and everything, and you're like, ugh. If you got your worst case of vertigo, this is probably not your movie to watch. I mean, if you saw it in IMAX 3D, and I'm wishing I did, like I said... It really would have been worth it with all the 3D effects and bringing out your worst case of vertigo. But, damn, I wish I did. But otherwise, definitely rent this movie at least once. It's well worth it. And I think it's a nice dedication to the buildings. How he, you know, even at the end credits, it dedic you know, at the end of the film, it dedicates to all the victims that were lost in this tragic event on 9-11. But otherwise, a great film. But be warned, like I said... It will bring out your worst case of vertigo if you watch it on, like, a high-def TV, like 3D or something. So, otherwise, great movie. I miss these buildings to death. And if I were to give it a final verdict with a slow start, but great last hour and 45 minutes or so, yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely worth a trip up memory lane up those great Twin Towers. Rockin' Wii Remote, Wii Motion Plus up, and a plain Wii Remote up. I think that's fair. Till next time, keep watching.